the religious Tabat, a marble or a wood replica of the Ten Commandments, has remained within the Abbey since it was looted from the East African country following the Battle of Magdala in 1868. British troops attacked the forces of Emperor Tuadros and ancient artwork was taken by Captain George Arbuthnet who later donated it to the church. It was later installed into the back of the altar in the Henry VII Lady Chapel where it was visible until being covered in 2010 in response to pleas from the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, who believe Taboths should be seen by priests only. However, Speaking to the art newspaper former Archbishop of Canterbury George Carey said he was astonished and saddened that the object is not being returned to the Ethiopians. To remove any object from the Abbey it would require the blessing of King Charles as the historical site is counted as a royal peculiar, meaning it falls directly under the monarch's jurisdiction. As the new head of the Church of England King Charles would need to directly intervene to overrule the decision of the Abbey to allow the artifact to be returned. Although never colonized by the British Empire the series of battles during the British expedition to Abyssinia between 1867 and 1868 led to many Ethiopian treasures being brought back to the UK. As well as the Tabot held in Westminster Abbey, a further 11 are also kept at the British Museum. In popular culture, the Ark of the Covenant features in the Indiana Jones film The Raiders of the Lost Ark whereby Harrison Ford's character has to fight to wrest the religious treasure from the Nazis. At the end of the film, we see a man pushing the Ark into storage at an unknown fictional location. In 1999 a group of prominent Ethiopian Britons formed the Association for the Return of the Magdala Ethiopian Treasures, a from it seeking to repatriate many of the cultural treasures lost during the Victoria era.